Here's my little family, and here's our little camper where we live. It's late December, and our house is totally, completely empty. The only thing we have left is a little pile of dirty dishes, because we always have a little pile of dirty dishes. Why is our full-time home completely empty just days before Christmas? Are we getting a new camp for Christmas? No. Actually, my husband Philip just got out of the military, and the military pays to move people. How that works if you're in a camper? You have to weigh your house completely loaded with all your belongings, and you also have to weigh your house with everything pulled out of it. And that way, the military can pay us per pound for the move. So we're going to take you through the day, and you'll get to see exactly how much junk you really can squeeze into a camper. Come on, let's go. I mean, holy cow, look at all this stuff. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty done with it all. It's been a long day already. Now it's time to go get weighed. And did I mention we got stuck? We arrived on a very soggy week. This is the first time we've ever in seven years gotten a camper stuck. Thanks to Brother Ryan and two Ford trucks, we got it done. Ooh, we were in there pretty deep. I think the trailer is going to weigh about 10 and a half, 11,000 pounds. What a beautiful mess, what a beautiful mess I made. Spending all my time with you. Turns out, we have a total of 3,478 pounds worth of items in our camper. I know that sounds like a lot to carry in a camper. That weight includes everything inside and out. Propane, furniture, food, <laughs> clothes, electronics, toys, and all other household items. I'm taking a video of you. Now that that's all settled, it's time to move on to more important things, like putting on three hats at one time. And jumping on the couch. Bye bye. We'll see you next time. What a beautiful, what a beautiful mess I made.